Could this might possibly be the world's smallest Lego brick? And yes, it is official Lego. Meet Lego Modulex, an official line of bricks from the Lego group, which is one I feel not many Lego fans are familiar with until today. Modulex was first introduced by the Lego group in the 1960s when Gottfried Kirk Christensen had to design a real building and he wanted to build it out of Lego bricks. This new system, which isn't actually compatible with the traditional Lego system, is optimized for architectural design and were actually only meant for architects when they were originally put on the market in 1963. As you can see, these bricks are quite a bit smaller than actual Lego bricks and the ratio of the three measures of a one by one brick is exactly one to one to one. The three sides are equal while a regular Lego bricks, of course, have a 5 to 5 to 6 ratio. The plastic used in these bricks is ABS, just like regular Lego bricks. Included in the Lego Modulex line were 1x1, 1x2, 1x3, 1x4, 1x10s, 2x2s, 2x4s, 2x8s, and 2x10 bricks. However, they did offer some more unique bricks, such as 1x5s and 2x5s, which Lego didn't start introducing until more recently. Lego Modulex also had many other specialized parts too, such as tiles that were tall as regular bricks, as opposed to regular Lego system tiles, which which are the same height as a Lego plate. They also had various kinds of studless slopes, lots of different kinds of windows, and just other parts that were useful to build buildings. Funny enough, the size of the Modulex bricks aren't the only thing that really differentiates themselves from traditional Lego bricks, but it's also their use. While Lego bricks are traditionally seen as a toy, designed to inspire builders and to test imagination by building and rebuilding, and most importantly, never ever being glued, Modulex bricks are supposed to be more functional, and gluing the bricks and modifying the bricks was actually allowed and encouraged. Lego actually sold special cutters and special glues that were branded and sold under the Modulex line. There also were some perforated foil sheets with holes for the studs that could be applied to the bricks to actually change their colors. I know, it's kind of crazy to think about. Imagine Lego today selling cutters and glues specifically for their Lego bricks, especially after the Lego movie, yeah, that's just not something I can envision. In the early days of Modulex, the bricks actually had Lego written on the top of them, just like Lego Systems bricks, but later around the 70s and the 80s, they changed the word Lego for just an M standing for Modulex because they wanted to look more professional, although they were considered Lego bricks still. The Lego group actually made Modulex into a separate company around that exact same time, and they started introducing some more colorful color selections and other kinds of bricks. In 1993, Modulex actually merged with ASI Sign Systems, and the production of the bricks was actually discontinued in 2004. In 2015, there were some rumors that the Modulex line might start up again when the license for the line was purchased by Andre Kirk Johansson, who was the great-grandson of the Lego founder Ole Kirk Christensen. The same year that he acquired the license of the team, Lego actually announced that they had acquired the Modulex bricks in a mutual agreement, stating that it has been important for the Lego group and the owner family to ensure historic rights stay with the owner family. The potential to produce Modulex bricks has also been addressed, and there are no plans to manufacture Modulex bricks in in the near future. A little bit of a personal story now is actually I was attending Brick World Chicago earlier this year and I was standing at an 8 Balls booth admiring the Modulex that they had bought to the convention to display. Again, because Modulex is such a unique system, not many fans and especially not many kids or the public attending the convention have ever seen something like this or have it in their collection. So 8 Balls often bring it and display their collections because it's really cool to see. But anyway, as I was standing there, I actually remembered that I had found a bulk bin of Lego Modulex at a thrift store back in around 2000. 17 and you guys are gonna kill me for this one but I don't think I've ever opened up the box since. I told my friend Sam this by the way, which he gave me a ton of crap about sitting on a bin of Modulex bricks for the past several years, but I just, it's never been something that's really come up and I've never touched it. So I decided why not investigate it and check out the Modulex bricks that I have in my Lego collection. So I know the Modulex is stored up here. Like I mentioned back in 2017, I got this at a thrift store. It came in this box and everything you guys can see it is official Lego branded. It is very, very dirty. I paid, it looks like $10 for it back in 2017. And I brought it home once, probably opened it up once after going to the thrift store and never again. So let's take a look and see what's inside. And look at that. This whole thing is just chugged full of Lego Modulex. So some of the Modulex here has the Lego logo on it, as you can see, and then some also just has the M. Some of it is assembled here, as you guys are able to tell, like there are some assembled portions, but there's also just a lot of unassembled bricks. It is very, very dirty, as you guys are also able to tell, lots of hair and 
really just gross dirt but there's also a few lego parts mixed in here as well some of it looks to be in very good condition some of it looks to be a little discolored but i don't think i'll be able to really tell until i get this washed but before I wash it, I think I'm going to sort it all out, get all of the Lego, the regular Lego bricks, Lego system, and the Modulex separated, and all of the parts disassembled so I can really see what I'm working with here. These Lego storage containers are also great little containers, so I'm definitely going to wash this up as well because I will be storing the Modulex back in this container once it's done. These little bricks are so tiny. I've never really played with Modulex before, but as I unassemble them, like, they're very, very dirty, but they're also, like, just so, so, so tiny. I, I can't wait to compare these... Uh, with the regular Lego bricks in just a second because these are awesome but yeah lots more to disassemble and then wash so here are all the Modulex parts that I was able to sort out I have to clean them now still but I was pretty happy that I had a full size bag here that is really good and if you guys are interested in a little cool story time I actually found this Canada Post brick which is a very rare and very expensive brick inside the bin of Modulex so you guys can head on over to my vlog channel so you can see a little bit behind the scenes and a story time around this normally I would clean this Lego in my bathroom but I'm going to do it out here in my kitchen today because I need the bigger sink because I'm going to use a strainer because all the parts are so tiny I don't want to lose them in the sink or anything like that and I think this will just make it so much easier sweet and everything here is washed so I think it's pretty cool to see the variety that these Modulex bricks do come in. I have a bunch of the older style versions, so I unfortunately in my collection don't have a lot of the other cool pieces that we've really seen, just a lot of basic bricks in a couple different colors. A majority of mine does even say Lego, so that's how I know it is a bit older here. But you guys can see it does come with a lot of cool colors, a lot of cool bricks and parts. I don't know how practical this is going to be for an actual Lego collection for sure. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing a lot of building with it. I will say the clutch power on it is pretty good. I would definitely see myself stacking it up and I could see why someone might love this style for doing buildings. Obviously for what I do, I will be using official Lego systems, but for Lego architectures, this system totally does make sense. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the amount of the Modulex that I was able to pick up. Obviously, I got this in 2017, so it's been a really long time, but I haven't had a chance to go through it yet. And you guys can see, once I removed all of the, the Lego and the dirt and stuff like that, it's got a pretty decent collection here of Modulex. I've already mentioned in this video, I don't think that there's really a practical solution or a practical reason for me to use these pieces here in my Lego collection, just because this is all I have. This is the extent of my Lego collection, and I just don't see an area where I do some building with it but I feel like I do have enough enough and like a good enough size of a Modulex collection now that I could do some fun little building and fun little tricks with it if I wanted to I'm very happy with the size of the collection here like I mentioned it is a bunch of older pieces a bunch of more of the classic bricks there's mostly two by bricks there's a few one by bricks and a few tiles but other than that it is a pretty extensive collection of two by four and two by two bricks and stuff like that but still very happy with the selection here and for ten dollars at the thrift store I think that I got pretty lucky so it's pretty cool to have a system like this that is official Lego that like Lego doesn't really make anymore and it is so so old like it's just it's really neat and it's been really fun to play with and clean up and I'm really glad that I actually purchased this in 2017 when I saw it because I would have really regretted it now if I hadn't. I said earlier as well but this is a really great storage case so I'm actually going to keep my Modulex in it for the time being and honestly you guys it's probably going to go right back up on the shelf where I found it earlier in this video. Alrighty thank you guys so much for tuning in today and learning more about the history of Lego Modulex and of course the Modulex I have in my Lego collection. After forgetting I own these Modulex bricks for the last six plus years I'm very excited to have finally taken the time to open up that box clean those bricks and actually do a little in building and investigating with them anyway you guys like I said thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys here in the next video